Under new rules, buyers may be responsible for paying their buyer's agent's commission. Hi, I'm Nick McLean, and the NAR settlement has come and gone, and with it are new rules where the buyer may be paying the agent directly for their commissions. Traditionally in real estate over the last 100 years, the seller has paid the buyer's agent's commission. So when you go to look at homes and they show you homes and write offers and negotiate on your behalf, the seller bakes in the commission in terms of their overall evaluation of the offer and the price and the terms. But now, many sellers across North America or the United States are saying, hey, we're, the commission can be paid by the buyer's agent and it's negotiable. We're willing to look at your offer and see if you want us to pay your agent, but we think the buyer should pay their agent. So here's the question. Do you really need a buyer's agent? Because that's the question you're gonna ask yourself. If I'm gonna pay that buyer's agent money, a commission for their services, what type of services are they gonna provide me? What kind of value is, is there? And do I really need them? Can I do it on my own? And so I'm gonna to attempt to argue that you don't need a real estate agent. I'm also gonna argue that you do need a real estate agent. And a lot of it comes down to the agent you choose. It's probably the single most important question you have to ask yourself is the agent you choose. I think really what's gonna change is buyers aren't gonna hire their friends and family, nephew, cousin, and brother and sister. They're gonna actually interview agents for the job of representing them. See, traditionally in real estate, You've always gone with the real estate agent that you know, like, and trust, and it's usually someone you know, but it has nothing to do with their expertise or their merit or their ability to negotiate or find you great deals. It's just been in a means to an end. And so I think the means to the end is completely gone. I think it's now, what are you gonna do for me? And if there is a commission, how are you gonna kick me back some of that commission you're gonna make? Because frankly, sometimes agents are overpaid, sometimes they're underpaid. More often than not, they're overpaid because they didn't really earn that commission. So here's the thing. Do you need a real estate agent? What would it be like if you didn't have one? So let's say you set off on your course. You can actually go to my website, Nick McLean Real Estate, and search for homes online. You can also go to other websites like Zillow, Trulia, or Realtor.com and see all of the active inventory. So if I'm going to do it on my own, I'm going to search on my own. So if I have a full-time job, I'm going to have to find time in between my job to search because the best deals sell the quickest. So for me to get the best deal on the market, I'm gonna to have to be quick. I'm gonna to have to be checking the marketplace constantly, day after day, moment after moment. And maybe I love doing that. Just like, should you pick your own stocks? Well, yeah, maybe you should be your own financial advisor and not hire someone to do it for you. But you're willing to check the market every day. You know, you're gonna wake up at 5 a.m. And, and just, you know, when Wall Street opens, the stock market opens and closes, you're checking everything, you're tracking everything, you're reading annual reports, you're doing your own research on the marketplace, right? If that's you, if you're analytical and you like doing that stuff, go for it 100%. Represent yourself, understand the marketplace. What's inventory like? What are the trends? Why are people moving? Where are they moving out? What are the zoning? What are the requirements? You can totally understand the marketplace. And if you're into that, totally do it. Now, say you go to the website, you're looking for homes. You wanna look at a home, okay? How are you gonna get inside that home? You're doing it on your own. How are you gonna get inside that home? Well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta call the listing agent. You gotta figure out every single, every time you wanna look at a home, you gotta go to that listing agent and you gotta ask them for access. You're basically becoming your real, own real estate agent. So you gotta schedule a showing. You gotta coordinate your efforts. You gotta give notice to the tenant. Maybe it's 24 hours, 48 hours, right? And every single home, you gotta to talk to another agent. Normally what a real estate agent does is you tell them, here's a list of homes I wanna see. You go and schedule everything. And they'll spend two, three, four hours just coordinating efforts. And then before you show up at the home, they're gonna do research on that home. So when you show up, they have a flyer for you. They've looked at the disclosures, they looked at the map, they looked at the history of the home. So when you show up and you have questions, that agent can answer those questions for you. But now since you represent yourself and you're working on your own, what you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. You call that listing agent, okay? Now when you talk to that listing agent, you schedule a showing. Once you're done with that showing, here's what I want you to do. Go to the assessor records, do your due diligence research the chain of title, everyone that's ever owned that property. Try to figure out how much they owe on the home. Try to figure out what disclosures or building permits or maybe any code enforcement violations they may or may not have on the property, right? Look up the easements and the CC&Rs. So do your due diligence so when you show up and you have a question, you can answer it yourself. So that's what it's like to be your own real estate agent. And if you can do that, right? If you can do that, you can save a little bit of money on commission. 
Now let's say you look at a home and you love that home. You want to make an offer on that home. Okay. Since you don't have a real estate agent, you can do it yourself. There's a couple options, right? You can ask the listing agent to write the offer for you. They probably won't do that because of liability and representation because they represent the seller. But maybe they would and they would want to be compensated and you can negotiate that, but that's a hassle. You can also hire an attorney. Any attorney can write a real estate agreement and represent you. Now, what they're going to want is they're going to want a retainer or they're going to want to disclose to you. Um, they have to check conflicts. So depending on who owns that home, the law firm is going to have to run some conflict checks to see if they can even represent you. That's going to take some time. So hopefully other offers don't come in in the meantime, right? Because you don't want to miss out on that home. So hopefully you already have an attorney on retainer. That's another option. Get an attorney on retainer. Pay him like $5,000, $6,000 just to hold that money. Be ready when I find a home. Mr. and Mrs. or Mr. or Miss attorney, because I want you to write that offer. Now, an attorney can write this offer. I would say, you know, thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, give or take. You know, attorneys are two hundred to five hundred dollars an hour, right? So you get that offer written by the attorney. You then submit that offer to the listing agent and you negotiate. Now, if you want the attorney to negotiate on your behalf, they're going to do the billable hours. So now you're negotiating. Okay, now, I can tell you this. Just warning. If a, if a homeowner gets an offer from an attorney, it's a little bit of, um, it's, it's gonna put them on the defensive, right? It's gonna put the listing agent on defensive too because they're kinda outgunned here, right? A real estate agent versus an attorney, they're kinda outgunned. So typically when you get an offer from an attorney and you have a listing and you have an agent, that agent is gonna advise their seller to get an attorney, right? So now that seller's gonna get an attorney. So here you are, there's a seller and an attorney buyer, you, and an attorney. So the attorneys are gonna start talking to each other, right? And, and here's what happens when attorneys talk to each other. They don't agree on things. Well, why don't they agree on things? Because the more they disagree on things, the more they can bill you, right? So you got more billable hours. But you're probably money ahead, depending on what the commission is that you pay for an agent. So yeah, you know, you don't really need a real estate agent. Now you get the home under contract, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to get a home inspection, you're gonna to wanna to get a lender, and so have all those things lined up too. So I think all in all, the industry has changed. You know, I think, you know, with the new rules, buyers are gonna to have to make a decision. Do I wanna do this on my own? And can I do it better than the very best agent I can hire on the open marketplace? Or do I wanna to go to the open marketplace and see what agents are out there and what they can offer? Can they do what I just said better and more efficiently and get me a better deal? and do better, do more research, and provide a service, a done-for-you service, the days of agents opening doors and letting you in are over. That's not worth it at all. I wouldn't pay for it. No way. I wouldn't pay for that at all, right? I'll do it myself. But there are some agents you might want to explore what they have to offer. I think the industry overall is going to have to up their game. And that's what we're doing at Nate McLean Real Estate Group. We're up in our game. In fact, I think our game was already at the highest level, and we're just going to go even higher for you, the buyer, because we want you to explore our options and compare them to doing it on your own. And if our options are above and beyond what you can do and what you pay us for, then there's value, right? So if you pay us a commission, one, two, three, whatever it is, we're gonna want to give you an, a return on that investment. So those are the new rules. Uh, be prepared for agents that are working with you as a buyer to show you homes, to ask you, to, to present you with an agreement for representation. And with that representation, you get to decide, do I do it on my own or do I hire that person? So those are the new rules and we got to play by them. <laughs>